Inspection of the Yamasiki SW32, 32 millimeter CNC Swiss. Take a first a walk around the machine. This is the Vito bar feed. Magazine bar loader. This machine appears to be in excellent condition. It is complete with a tower work light, mist collector, chip conveyor, and a high volume or high pressure coolant system. I'll take a quick walk through this way. And then I'll walk around. He's got a forward and reverse for the chip conveyor, high pressure coolant pump, standard coolant pump with distribution lines in the machine for the high pressure. Serial number plate. Nine six E zero two one twenty twelve. That's the bar feed linkage. And all the tooling that goes with this machine, including the manuals. Lots of extras. There are collets for the bar feed, fixed tool blocks for, the, for drilling, some additional live tooling for cross milling and end drilling and live end working. Some boring bar holders, splash detection, wrenches, and leveling blocks for the bar feed in the machine. Okay, let's run the machine. This machine also comes equipped with a parts conveyor, and it conveys the part out to the end of the machine. Okay, let's run, uh, the first thing we'll run is the live tools. And we're gonna run this at 4,000 RPM. You'll always be a little noisier with the no collars and tools in the, in the unit. This has got a five position live cross drill. And they also have a 90 degree face live tool with three live tools on it. You can remove this bottom piece and add another cross drill in there. You can see that it has six turning tool holders. This is a front and back working tool arm for ID work. Along with four back working live or fixed position tool block and the sub spindle we're going to run the sub spindle at 4000 rpm and i'm about three inches away from the spindle you can hear how quiet it is thank you and moving it in and moving it out There's no program in the machine, so we're doing this all MDI. The slides sound extremely cool, very, very, very quiet. Now the upper tool slide. And you can hear there is no sound on these at all. The ball screws sound very, very good.
And then we're gonna go to the main spindle. Here's the guide bushing. So it's a synchronous rotary guide bushing. Again, I'm about five inches away from the guide bushing. You'll hear the sound. We're gonna run this at 5,000 RPM. Come around the back into the headstock. I'm about three inches away from the main spindle. Lubrication line and the back of the guy pushing the nut. That's the synchronization bar and the belt that goes through here into the synchronize the main and guide pushing. You can hear the slide is very quiet. Can you unclamp the clamp? Showing you the clamp and unclamp of the guide bushing, I mean of the spindle bear, the spindle collet. With the control panel. Hours, can you bring up the hours for me? And as you can see, the hours in this machine show that it is a run and cutting time, run time of 9900 and 62.75 for the actual cutting time. Now we'll just jog the bar feed back and forth so you can see the operation. This is the inside of the Vito bar loader. See the pusher being pushed forward and retraction and there's the clamping system going up and down and the inside of the track. And refeeding. The handheld controller, plus the bar loader control, PLC. Also has rear control when you're working on the backside of the bar when it's in the retraction mode. It has e-stop in both. Remnant retract drawer, as you can see inside. This concludes the inspection of the Yamasiki SW32.